everyone. So I just wanted to share some of my writing process in case you are joining me in being inspired by the uh, how to survive a zombie apocalypse if you are an 82 year old Guatemalan grandmother. Uh, so what I did to start this is and I did this over three days so this is not something I just did all at once. So what I did to start was I started with just some listing and I tried to come up with different things I could write how to survive. Uh, and then I did like as a and like kind of matched them up. Um, and I had some funnier ones like how to survive uh, buying a house when you only have four weeks, which is something that actually happened to me uh, and things like that. Um, but after doing some brainstorming, I kind of went through my lists and mix and matched and I settled on um, what I wanted to write about, which I find for me with poetry, I actually have more luck with poetry if I write about something that feels real and uh, in the moment. So I decided to do social distancing and um, I wanted to kind of write about this concept of being somebody who isn't currently experiencing depression but has in the past and so I can like feel myself struggling with those similar emotions during this really difficult time. So I thought about a title, and remember you don't necessarily have to do a title first, but I'm going to do something about how to survive social distancing as a person who's struggled with depression. Or as I wrote here, uh, as a person who's well acquainted with depression. And then what I did is I just, I did this over several days, and I just took a ton of notes, and they're messy, and I crossed things out, and drew arrows, and all of that. And I just took a ton of notes of ideas, lines, um, images, all different kinds of things, just thoughts in my head. And like, I'd keep my notebook near me so that over those couple of days, if I thought of a line, I'd just run in and like write something down. Um, so these are just messy notes of everything I might want to put into this poem uh, when the time comes to like write a nicer draft. I didn't worry about line breaks. I didn't worry about you know, metaphors or anything particular. I just kind of wrote what I was thinking about um, and how I was, you know, feeling and then maybe how I was trying to uh, survive these feelings. Um, so the last thing that I did with my notes, you'll see these little highlighted parts here that say beginning, um, middle, end, but then I go back to beginning, end beginning um, is once I had felt like I made enough notes I I went back and I kind of tried to organize them for my brain um, because I certainly did not draft in order um, so now my next part to get like a full draft here is going to be to go through and kind of take the beginning sections and start trying to maybe uh, put them in order and thinking a little bit more about line breaks um, so I, I think I want to start with this, um, uh, with this idea of, um, because I want to call it uh, being well acquainted uh, with uh, depression, like something I used to know. So I think I want to start with this idea here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip to my next page and I'm going to start doing a draft. Um, and so I'm going to start here uh, and, you know, say, you know, draft. And then I'm just gonna start kind of writing. So I'm gonna go back to this and it says, you know, this dude you knew from way back then but only pretended to like, or I wrote, but never really liked and only tried to be nice. So I'm going to write, I'm gonna start with, you know, the what I wanna talk about. So depression. Um, and I actually, you know what, I really wanna uh, uh, start with this image. So I'm just gonna go right in. Uh, that dude you knew from, and I'm not really worried about line breaks, but I'm gonna try some things out and I can always change it way back when. Uh, and I'm gonna go back here. Uh, who you never really liked. But tried to be nice to. So I'm kind of using a, I guess a, a metaphor here or personifying depression. Uh, not really on purpose, just trying it out. Um, uh, and then I'm gonna use this, uh, who has invited themselves over for an awkward hello. Uh, or actually, I don't wanna say who again, so I'm gonna say they've, they have. 
invited themselves. And then instead of for an awkward, I'm going to change it to an unwanted. Unwanted. Hello. Um, and basically, I would just keep going with this. So now I'm going to go uh, find another part of the beginning. I might come over here to like a sneak attack lying in wait. Um, and, and just kind of start piecing this together and see how it goes. And it's still going to be messy, but this will be my draft. So this is what I hope you guys will send to me today. Uh, and I would love to then give you some feedback on it uh, and see what we can come up with. Because um, I was really inspired by this writing prompt. Thanks, everybody. And hope to see you soon.